Hi, I'm Rainy Bastarash with the American School of Hypnosis. And in this video, I'm going to teach you a powerful form of self-hypnosis that you can use for public speaking. Notice how I said I'm going to teach you a method and not do it for you. By teaching you how to do it, you'll understand how it works so you can use it over and over for yourself, for public speaking, or pretty much for any topic you like. And you'll be able to help others by showing them how to use it or by sharing it with them so they can learn for themselves. It's called the theater of the imagination. The theater of the imagination is a very powerful self-hypnosis technique. It's one of the many techniques that we teach in our hypnosis certification course. Now for best effects, it's important that you do this technique at least once a day for yourself for a minimum of 30 days. Why? Because it takes a minimum of 30 days to create a new habit. And that's what you're trying to do. Create a new habit of something that you'd like to instill in your life or to create a new habit of stopping something that you don't want to do anymore. To get it started, you're going to want to find yourself a comfortable, quiet, out-of-the-way location to do it where you won't be disturbed. Now, what I want you to do is I'd like you to imagine a beautiful theater, a stage, I guess you could say, directly in front of you. Now, this is going to be a stage that you'll be portraying yourself as the main actor not anybody else, your center stage. It's important to realize that when you use your imagination in creating the various scenes that I'm going to be mentioning, the process will work better if you imagine the stage as if it were outside of your head, just a little ways away rather than inside. Okay, so basically what I want you to do is think of yourself as the main actor on the stage, but also think of yourself, you're going to have a dual position as a producer sitting in the audience watching yourself on the stage. Now, as a producer, it's going to be kind of like a magical situation that whatever you think of, whatever you imagine as the producer, it's going to magically appear on the stage. So anything like uh, props that you might want, background, uh, different places, different clothing, as soon as you imagine it, it's going to be happening to you on the stage. So remember, you're the producer and you're the actor on stage. No, I'm not creating a split personality. I just want you to have two jobs. Now, as the producer, the way you're going to be creating your play is to imagine yourself as if you've already attained your goal or whatever it is you'd like to achieve. It's important that you imagine yourself as already having accomplished your task or your goal rather than in the process of it. So if you imagine yourself, let's say, wanting to get a job interview, basically that's what you're going to get. You're going to get a job interview. Instead, you need to imagine yourself as already having the job, already having gotten what you want. So here's how it would work if you were going to do it for public speaking. Now, before we start, you can even close your eyes and follow along with me if you like as I'm going through the process, but remember that you would normally do this for yourself. It's self-hypnosis. I'm just going to run through it kind of quickly so you can get an idea or a feeling of how it would work. Okay, so let's get started. First, what you do is you'd close your eyes and you would take three deep breaths, like with any other session, just to help yourself to relax. And then you need to use your imagination. Using the power of your imagination, see yourself as you're just about to deliver a speech to a room full of eager people, ready to hear your inspiring message. You look fantastic. You've dressed perfectly for the occasion. You know that your audience supports you and wants you to succeed. They'll benefit from what you have to say. You've practiced and you know what you're going to say. You take a few deep breaths. You say to yourself, I'm relaxed. 
I'm prepared. I'm in the moment and I can't wait to meet my audience. And then you go out on the stage and as you walk out to center stage, you hear a roaring of applause. They love you. They're your friends. You feel so very at home right now. Watch yourself now. See it very clearly. You're having a conversation with a room full of equals. You're smiling confidently and they're all definitely smiling back at you. You feel the energy bursting within you. You make natural, graceful movements that accentuate points in your talk. You talk from your heart and with passion. You tell an opening joke and the audience embraces your humor. Your message is getting across. You have a powerful and confident voice. Heads are nodding in agreement with you. You've engaged your audience and they're paying attention. You can smell victory. See it now. Watch the faces in the crowd. They're all just like you. All just your friends and you're just having an easy talk with them. A group of your friends. Imagine yourself there on stage so perfectly calm and relaxed in total control of the situation. You're loving this. You're so good at this. You just want to do it over and over again. When you speak, people love hearing you. You enjoy yourself. They've seen and appreciated the public speaker within you. And the public speaker within you has reached out and appreciated them. Imagine now that your speaking engagement has drawn to a close and they've lined up to congratulate you. Can you feel that awesome feeling? You can enjoy this feeling of success for a while. And in a moment, just allow yourself to open your eyes whenever you wish. That's all there is to it. Try this technique on yourself when you get a chance and feel free to share it with anyone else who you think can benefit from it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.